Okay, let's start another video. Please click the join button for more, for more members video over there. And if you want to learn my, uh, learn my system, you can email me at hyper underscore for any game prediction or requests and click on my name on my page and then you can go find me. And here's the title of the go find me icon. Also, uh, go, go find me link. And click on the go find me to support my cause. And also, you can click on the herb icon also on my page also. And please donate, subscribe, share, and like my video. And email me for an 18 prediction at hyperunderscoringseattle.com. Always remember nothing is guaranteed, but always trust yourself. So on the last video, I really have to show you the last video. On the Mega Man, I have this setup right here. I went from a 26 number matrix to a 24 number matrix because I know the zero is not drawn as a white ball. So after that becomes all these numbers becomes here 10%, 16%, 16%, 16%, 10%, and 16%. Number no number can be locked because there's no number higher higher than 33% uh, chance of higher. 33% chance of higher I have one and three. I would still take a chance. These are all too much. I have 10, 6 and 10 right here mostly. So too much number to even take a gamble. It would I will not gamble and lock any number out. And if you look at these are right here, look at let's look at the these are for right here. For last show of power, I have three one two zero six five four. The zero gotta be in the outer perimeter because why? Because the zero is the main digit. Uh, uh, it's not using the white ball, so it gotta be in the outer perimeter in case I drop the zero, it still be symmetrical. So let's look at <clears throat> some of the scenario three one two six five four. Three, one, two, six, five, four. If I drop the zero right here, I would have the six corner game. So, uh, the, uh, the page. Let's look at the page right here. I really don't want to lose this, so I'm gonna go down. And then formulate another. Yeah. Now, now if you look at the uh, number right here, this is w w this is scenario one. So let's look at scenario two right here. Let's look at scenario two right here. We need fifteen. 1624 to, to appear as a matrix and the matrix 15 16 24 31 56 and oh uh don't need oh four because the zero is not in the white ball let me just focus on the white ball so again you need to switch numbers to see when you switch it now because there's no six seven eight or nine right here right it's no uh, there's no i mean no seven eight or nine Switching scenario won't help help that much. Switching scenario, why? Because seven, eight, and nine locks numbers uh, blocks numbers down. There's no seventies. One, there's no on the power button. No seventy seventy nine. And on the uh, uh, or seventy or higher. I mean, yeah. On Megaman, there's no seventy one or higher. So switching won't help. But let's switch it. See what it would do. So I would ignore the zero because the zero four is there. So I would need to switch. If I switch to two and the three right here, you see, I, I would lost 24. So I don't want to switch it. If I switch to one and the three right here, right? If I switch to one and the three right here, I will still have 31. I will still have 15. I will still have 16. You see what I'm getting? 13, 15, 16, see it? 13, 15, 16. So if I do that, I will lose the 12 in the matrix, right? I will lose 12 in the matrix. I will lose 21 in the matrix. I will have 13, 14, 15. 
right? See it? 13, 14, 15. Now, not only would I, I would lose 41, I would lose 41, I would lose, yeah, I would lose 41. Those numbers I would lose. Uh, I'm gonna drop this out because zero is not part part of the white ball. So let's drop the zero out right here. Let's drop the zero out because remember I said the zero is not drawn as white ball. So you can cross out. It becomes a twenty-two matrix game to begin with. So let's say swap the one. I will lose those numbers I just mentioned right there. I will I will have lost the twenty-one, fifty-one, forty-one. No, 21, 51, uh, 21, 41. I will lose 12, 14. Yeah, 12, 14. So in terms of the teens, I only have 13, 15, 16. In terms of the 20s, I have 23. Now, so I'm with 23 here. I'm going to have 24, 25. Let's put the 20s over there. Together, 23, 24, 25, you see it? And for the 30s, I will have 31, 34, 32 now, 35, 36. For 40s, I have 42, 43, 45. For 50s, I have 51, 52, 54, 56. For 60s, 61, 63, and 65. So not much changes. I will still have 22 numbers. It's just these numbers are different now. You see it? These numbers are different. You see where the numbers are different? Because I don't have the 21, 14, 41, 14 on this side. You see, I don't have that number on this side that, that you can swap. This is in center two. Cannot really swap any more numbers besides the two and the four. Remember, the two and the four can be swapped. Now, if I swap the two and the four, let's just say I swap the two and the four. Remember, you're trying to find the best scenario out there. It's going to be complex to do it. I will swap the two and the four right here. You see where I'm getting numbers? To this side. It's two and the four to this side, and now we'll have the zero on this side, right? On this side. Sorry about that. Right? I will have 15, 16, 24, 31, 56, and 04. If I swap it on that side, With a scenario three, let's see what would happen. 20, this two would be 21 number. I just see which number are there and which number are not there. I would have 12, 13. Why, why, why am I showing this? Because this, gotta watch this, this is important. If you skim through this, you're not gonna hit the jackpot. Uh, 21, 24, 26. Remember, this helps lock a number down also. This helps lock a number down. Uh, Right. Uh, for thirty, I have thirty-one, thirty-five. Remember, you're trying to lock as number much number down as possible, so without losing any numbers, right? And thirty-six, forties. I have forty-one, forty-two, forty-six, forty-one. Remember, the zero is not used as a white ball, so I'm not gonna add that to the matrix. For the fifties. 51, 50, 51, 53, 56, 51, 53, 56, and for the 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. Now do you see it? Still 22 numbers, just that numbers are different. Right? The numbers are different.
Now, I'm going to look at the past draws right there. Look at past draws. You're going to see 60s, right? You see 60s. You see teens. You see 20s. You see, there's no 20s for about three draws. You see it? One, two, three. No, no, no 20s, about three draws. Now, now I put up three scenarios right there. Now, which scenario, is, which scenario is, is the best to use? Let's look. Because there, there were no 20s in the last three draws. The best scenario I would have to use is the 20s. I would keep my 20 right there. So all these three have the same 20s right there. For last draw, and if you go with the streaks right here, all most of the draw has teens drawn. So uh, maybe I would like to keep the teens as well because the streaks are teens. You do not go against streaks. Most of the teens are drawn because the streaks were teens. So I would like. Scenario with most teams. So the best option I would, since they all have the same matrix, I would keep either scenario one, three, one, two, zero, six, five, four, or last one, zero, two, one, three, four, six, five. So let's let's say I keep zero, two, one, four, six, five. Let's say I kept I kept this, right? Let's say I kept this. So I'm gonna go to sheet four. Or sheet three, wherever you like to call it. I don't know what I did wrong, so let's go back to sheet seven. Because I have too much cell. So I'm going to get rid of the zero. Zero is not part of the matrix. Yeah, two, one, three, four, five, six. I would keep that. I, I, I would keep this. Pretty much, I would keep this because the, the streak was a teens. Almost all draw got teens drawn and no 20s were drawn. And no 20s was drawn. So, again, remember you have to use every single digit once. So, I would keep scenario three. Because scenario three, I have teens and I have 20s. Because 20 wasn't drawn that much and the streak was teens. I would not go against streaks. Streaks, do not go against streaks, you're gonna lose if you go against streaks right here. So I will keep this matrix, I've got to keep moving, I've got to keep moving my camera. Go not go against streaks. So maybe I wanna do... Sixteen, so I'll keep the sixteen right here. Uh, and... I will keep the... Uh, Twenty-four. Maybe I'm going to do the 24. I really cannot lock any numbers down. I want to unlock numbers down. I cannot lock numbers down. So these are the two numbers. I, pay, I still have the 3 and the 5. I still have the 3 and the 5 to play around with. So what number can I use with the 3? Maybe I'm going to use 31. So let's say I use 31. And then I use uh, 15. So I basically use every single digit, even before the fourth, uh, the, the uh, even before the last spot. That means I can use any numbers out there I haven't used, because I use one, six, two, four, five, three. Pretty much, I can use any number. So any number in the matrix, I fill in the gap. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 21, 26, uh, 35, 36, 41, 42, 46, 51, and 53. You see it? Now, because I'm going to max it out, I want to max it out. I'm going to go for all 1 to 35. I will only keep up to here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna keep six. I want to keep one to thirty-five. 
and not 36 to 69. Now, if I keep uh, 36 to 69 and take a chance, maybe I have 53 and 56 and uh, instead of 53, I'll, I'll have to hit the jackpot on line number 12. I will hit the checkpoint on line number 12. So I have to use every single numbers once you have actual numbers to create on the last spot. That's how you would do it. And I wish I could lock any numbers down. Now, I, I, I cannot lock any number down because the to lock numbers down, the best way to look at it is to look at the corner numbers. Three, five, two, four, because they have the corner numbers. So they have the corner numbers. Let's go, let's, let's show everybody here. 3, 5, 2, 4, I have 53, 51, 56, 15, those more than, if you see more than three numbers, that's instantly guaranteed that it's more than, lower than 33% chance of picking that correct. Now I have, I have, look at the three, I have 31, 35, 36, 13, that's one than three, for the two, I have 21, 24, 26, 12, for four, I have 41, 46, 42, 24. There's too much numbers, too much numbers, 42, 46, 41, 14. So not no much number I can lock down. For well, last night, so not much number I can lock down, but I can do something better. I can look at these numbers and see which number I want. So last one, no 20s, no 20s, and the streak was a teen. So this scenario, I would, I, I would not use. Why? Because 15, 13, and 16, even though the 15 and 16 are here, I would not use this because the streak was a teen. So when you see streaks are teens, most of the time you do not want to go against streaks. Like when you see a lot of streaks of red on the roulette, people tend to play black. They, they, they catch your guard and you lose your chip. So I pick scenario one and three because the teens they are more teens. And I and generally I show you that the teens were were were, were drawn almost every draw. So that means that once you draw, teens might continue to get drawn because I look at the teens. Don't, except for this draw on 629, but most of the time, look at all, all those teens got, 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 that got drawn at least one time. Remember I told you 10 can be from one to 10 or 10 to 19. So 10 is a tricky number. 10 can be from one to 10 or from 10 to 19. That's why I don't count the 10. I can count the 10 either way. Because there's no zero zero, it's not the roulette. There's no zero zero, so the best matrix I just showed you would be scenario one or three. I would like to use scenario three. I would like to change it up a little bit. Show you guys. I don't. Right, and there's not much number I can lock. So now, if I use scenario one, I I, I want to lock numbers down. I'll lock numbers the highest percentage of a lock. These four, any number with digits six, three, two, and four, I will lock. Anything in red, I will lock. If I'm gonna take a chance and lock numbers down. Now, the, now because two to six, two digit one again drawn. Uh, number with the digit one again drawn. That's three times. That's thirty percent chance of picking one. Or the number correct because I have three digit ones. See, I have three out of ten to pick it correct. Three out of ten. Now, if you look at this, this right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It, it doesn't change that there's still ten digit one out there. Still doesn't change that there's ten digit one out there. So I have thirty percent chance. Or picking it because they didn't want to occur one time. Now look at the five. Five appeared two times. So that's 20% of picking one of the digit five correct. Right? And the six. Six appearing two times. That's 32% chance of picking one of the digit six correct. Out of the digit six, six, I have two that's wrong. So look at these as a final result. Look at these are the final result. You got to guess. You can guess how many digit ones again drawn, how many digit two again drawn, three, four, five, six. Right? 
doesn't mean the digit is not going to use more than once. That's why you have hot cornered being used. So again, try to pose the mega up. You can email me for a mega dessert. You need the dessert to hit that jackpot last night. Tonight, you need the dessert. Email me for it. Email me for the dessert. So again, and the breakdown. Breakdown will help you pick the right numbers. So again, always remember nothing is guaranteed. And you can donate, subscribe, channel, like my video. Click on the go find me icon or arbit icon to donate to support my channel or support my call. So again, email me for that and click the join button for members video over there.